voters lining up to cast their ballots in New Hampshire. This is one of the states that will be watched closely as the results come in. Most agree that if Democrats lose here, their prospects of holding on to the Senate will diminish. Many think it could go down to the wire. I think it's going to be a very tight race, but I think that this is what it's all about, to be able to vote and have a voice and hopefully select the people that you think are going to represent the state the most appropriately. I'm hoping we could have some of the Republicans in the Senate so we could get the votes going. But Democrats such as Kay Hagan of North Carolina, another key state, are determined to stop the Republicans from winning a majority in the Senate. She has been campaigning until the last minute, doing all she can to encourage traditional Democrat supporters, like young women and minorities, to turn out. I've got 100 locations across North Carolina right now with 10,000 volunteers hitting the pavement, knocking on doors, reminding people the difference in this race and the importance of exercising our constitutional right to vote. But the Republicans already sent success and most polls appear to be on their side. Senate Minority Leader Mitch McConnell says a Republican victory would have far-reaching consequences. We could have, for the second time in our history, the Majority Leader of the Senate setting the agenda for America and taking us in a new direction. President Obama and his advisers are playing down the impact of a Republican takeover of the Senate. But a victory there would give the Republicans control of both chambers of Congress and some say make life even harder for Obama in the last two years of his presidency.